Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first Eredivisie jersey review on my channel and the reason why I haven't had one is because as of the date I'm shooting this video I have only jerseys for five teams and the other that I just recently acquired. However, while it might be a little bit uh, more empty than I usually have in my, in my backgrounds, I still want to keep it that way. And what's even more important for every part of the video that I'm shooting, I have a jersey to wear. So that's all the fun of it. And I'm really, really excited about doing that because the Eredivisie to me had always some sleeper jerseys and some really, really interesting ones in there. We also have tons of different suppliers that we don't usually call in the big leagues at all. Now, in this video, I will go through the jerseys that have been released for each of these uh, teams and give them a grade from one, the worst to 10, the best. My personal view, at the end I will ask you which jerseys you agree or disagree with me uh, in here. The pictures I've taken from the wonderful page Football Kit Archive, which you definitely should check out and then a little, a little bit of editing that it all fits nicely. As for which team goes in which video, if you are a long time viewer of my channel, you already know I take last season standing and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have 18 teams, so four videos and you know, each number for the video. And so in this video we have Ajax, the team I am wearing, Herr and Wein, we have Cambuur. Uh, we have Emmen and we have Volendam. So those are the five teams that we have in this one. And then, as I usually do it, I sort them alphabetically, which means that the big giants Ajax are the first ones that I cover in this video. However, we have already talked about Ajax in the Champions League jersey review, so I refer you there and just give it a grade. Ajax have a pretty darn good set. No one messes with the home jersey, it's a nine star. The away jersey, very pleasing colors. Also a nine star and the third jersey as worn in the league with all the um, daily paper uh, accents there. It's also not a bad one and I gave it an eight star. And so we start the review proper with Cambur, a team uh, supplied by Kraft, which we have seen in the Eredivisie, uh, in the league uh, jersey review for Toulouse so far. Yellow jersey with blue collar as if you go through the jersey history kit archive, you can check it out. Uh, you would expect what I actually do like. I mean, I like that color com 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 combination, the yellow with the blue collar. Uh, the response, of course, way too big and way too blocky. And especially the little thing that goes on top is a little bit odd, I gotta say. But there's a nice thing. There's a stadium on there on the bottom of the shirt, which adds it a little bit extra. I'm wondering, you know, uh, if you wouldn't have the classic collar and the sleeve cuffs, I think the stadium would look a little bit better. But you know, uh, if I have this floppy collar, I'm looking more for a traditional design. But I do like it in principle. However, it's your classic average, um, I don't want to say lower league, but you know, it's your average small team jersey. Uh, I do like like, like collar, the sponsor is a little bit ugly, but I'm going to give it six stars right here. Uh, the away jersey, I don't like these colors and I don't think the colors are too much of a contrast to the actual home jersey as well because you know from yellow to this uh, light um, yellowish greenish color, not my favorite I gotta say and then the sponsor, uh, it's just a little bit too odd the whole thing so I'm gonna go three here. Um, and we move on to Emmen. Emmen uh, have been kind of a collector's uh, dream, mainly because Hummel always does good stuff. Second of controversial sponsor with Easy Toys, which is of course uh, sex toys out there. And a template that is very much based on the flag of the province that they're from. Kind of a reverse Ajax which is always something nice to have. Hummel jerseys are always nice. This one, I think it's a really pleasing shirt overall. And what's more, there is kind of this pattern in there, which I can imagine. I don't know, and I probably should reuse them, but it looks like the county borders and so on, which I think look really, it looks really interesting overall. 
cannot go wrong and especially with what, what we've seen before from Cam Cam I have to say this is a really uh, fresh look I'm gonna go 8 here um, the away jersey uh, in this how to say the uh, black with uh, lots of structure on there you know grayish blackish or, 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 or whatever looks a little bit marbly uh, is interesting I actually do like that the crest is full color I just think it falls a little bit down when the uh, Hummel chevrons on the side kind of break up the pattern a little bit I also find the color uh, is maybe not the very greatest it's a, a jersey that I can see why it, it can be liked and it definitely gives us a little bit something different uh, however I'm also not too big of a fan of it but I think I want to give the idea at least um, a seven star and then they had a special jersey released which of course is in all pink pink for pink sake I do like the pattern on it again full colored crest but mm -hmm. you know if you like pink jerseys right up your alley this one uh i'm just not so sure maybe there's a good cause behind it i'm gonna go six here because uh pink is kind of the latest trend trendy color and every team needs to have a pink shirt and this is not the last pink shirt that we will see in this review Let's go to Herrenwein, who this was one of the hooray moments of uh, the preseason. Macron are uh, taking over Herrenwein, one of the most, um, how to say, iconic Dutch shirts because it's all about the Friesland fl uh, flag. And no, those are not hearts, those are sea lily leaves, seemingly. So, there you go i burst your bubble there if you want to say this hearts i still see this hearts when i heard macron is taking over i knew okay that's really really cool now i gotta say i do prefer the stripes a little bit thinner as i have it here i think it's almost a little bit too thick uh although there's an interesting pattern in there i do uh like however that the um, uh, red accents go even between the two logos there the color is interesting it's very much a Macron color uh, again it's this double stripe that this thin stripe it seems like a different color that kind of makes it a little bit off looking and kind of um, my excitement first I was very excitement then I had to uh, tone it down sponsor fits well however I don't like the box I really don't like the box uh, and it's also the trouble here with this shirt I have the box but I have no sponsor probably have to look for the sponsor somehow um, but you know it's here in vain it's one of the most iconic shirts out there so you're never gonna get anything uh, bad from me but I think it's a seven star right there the away jersey I thought is interesting with black and a little bit red up top however I don't quite get it either uh it looks very dark let's put it with whatever where the home jersey is very playful this one is really really dark which i get okay you want to have good contrast uh so that's nice i just don't quite get it uh in terms of the but maybe you guys can enlighten me there for me it's not the most attractive one despite the colors i would give this a five stars a little bit what macron have been doing with real sociedad where usually the alternate jerseys have nothing to do with the clubs Colors. The last team in this video will be Folendam. I think Folendam is how it's called, but you know, I might be uh, wrong there. Uh, classic orange, but Roby Sports, who are supplying them, really went all out here. Uh, slight touch of the Netherlands 88 home jersey there, um, but making it even crazier. I have to say, this one is way too psychedelic for me. I think if you go at least, you know, if you will go Netherlands uh, 1988, they have maybe only you no know, uh, arrows pointing up, but the up, down, and then too much gradient in there, it actually makes the shirt kind of muddied. And then a sponsor that does not fit at all, I have to say, it does not work for me. Uh, add to it that the sleeves are one color. I know they need to show the sponsors, but you know, you manage quite nicely every, every, everywhere else and at least the sponsor is not pulled in, in the box, but it just doesn't fit. It's an awful shirt. 
I gotta say, uh, even the color I I I don't like. So for me, that's a two star. But uh, it gets a little bit better. I mean, the colors for the away jersey might be off. But what I like there, there's a little sailing boat in the crest. And yes, the crest is discolored now um, to fit the jersey. But the sailing boat is also put onto the jersey and there's kind of the sea. So I think this is a much better jer uh, jersey. And if they would have made an orange uh, black version of that one for the home jersey, I think I would have liked this a whole lot more. There's something about this shirt that I like. I find it, maybe the colors don't drive well with each other and the discolor crest there are points off, but I think this is at least an interesting idea. Um, I think I wanna go seven with this uh, one. And then the last jersey, that's crazy. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's very much a techno jersey, I would say, uh, with a sponsor that also doesn't quite fit on there. Uh, very colorful. Uh, there's a lot of orange in there. They're very bright colors. Um, however, for some reason, it doesn't quite connect with me. But I want to give it credit for credit is due. I think it is not the worst jersey by far. But it's also not quite working for me. Let's go. Uh, now, nah, I mean, uh, for such a jersey, you can either go high or either you go low. I cannot go high on this one. Uh, I'm going to go four here. And that ends the first part of our uh, jersey review. Let me know which jersey here you did like and which one you disliked, where you agree and disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!